Hey everybody, Tyson here. How are y'all doing? Uh, I'm gonna do one painting video and then I'm gonna do uh, a couple of stained glass videos because somebody was nice enough to request them, and uh, I wanna I don't wanna disappoint this person and I wanna do something nice for them. But in the meantime, I need to get warmed up and uh, I kind of thought. This is how I would do that. Um, I'm just gonna do, this is my own little take on the Shelly Art thing. I'm doing, um, it's got mostly the Shelly Art um, pouring medium in the colors, but also some Floetrol. Um, just cause I'm experimenting and y'all know how I do about that. I just like to try new things. And so I'm, uh, you know, I'm trying to, see what that does and um so uh let me move this around a little bit here um i thought we would just uh you know i've done a few with it and i've been really happy with uh how they turned out so this is mdf board that i'm using uh this time uh because i over ordered that stuff um, I use it for my resin paintings, but um, I ordered a little too much, and um, so I thought I'd do a couple just regular paintings on it, just since I have it. Um, I'm going to have to work on this board. It's so slanted that it's just almost impossible to deal with anymore. It's just, just really getting in my way. Um, I love this color. It's Spiced Pumpkin color art, uh, Spice Pumpkin, and I think it's just beautiful. That first one was Boysenberry, also color art. This is some liquid, uh, Liquitex Basics uh, Turquoise, which I love, too. I love so many colors, it's hard to narrow it down, you know, I really have a hard time doing that. And this is some Deco Art uh, Champagne something champagne gold i think it's called uh and this one is one of my pigments but uh, i don't know if i can remember which one um it's kind of a, a turquoise green more green than turquoise i guess sea green maybe uh, but i don't know what the real name is of it i can't remember and um this is a color art sunflower, I think is it's called. Isn't that pretty? That's beautiful. Um, and then I have this, um, this is deco art, um, kind of a sage green. Um, and I have some blue mixed up from earlier just a little bit of phthalo I'll put on there just because I have it and I don't want it to go to waste because I don't like to use them after they've been sitting up for very long I mean a little bit um, is fine but um, I don't let them sit more than a day or so and then I won't use them okay this um, cell activator has got Amsterdam white paint and um, it's got some glue in it and some silicone and Floetrol. Um, I'm going to blow this a little bit myself. Because I really just think there is no substitute for blowing it out yourself if you can. I'll have to use a hairdryer for blowing the rest of it because I can't, I don't have enough air. I always do it on high and I thought I'd try it on low this time. Let's see. 
I've been worried that I'm not getting, like, my colors are getting too mixed up, kind of. Um, and I'm not seeing all of them. Um, so I thought maybe if I blow it out on a lower speed, that would be better. And so far, I think it's not. I think it is better. the way that's blown out it look at how pretty it is and it hasn't over mixed you know I was getting I was feeling like like on my last video I was feeling like it just over mixed and um, I didn't like it uh, and I'll probably redo that one um, I just wasn't happy with how it did I don't know it, it was okay but I just wasn't really all that happy with it. This is much better. So I may do uh, similar colors and, but do it um, on low speed. Um, it looks like on this MDF board at least that works better. I don't know. Um, I've never done any pours on these MDF boards other than resin, so I'm kind of in uncharted territory here. I see a big old blob. And I just hate those because it's just almost impossible on these pours to get them up without messing up what you've done. You know, like, it's just almost impossible not to make a big mess like that. And see, then you gotta try to Try to cover it up. And I just made a big drip over here. Just try to cover that up. Well, we'll see if I can mix it in. Maybe I can blend it. That just sucks. I hate blobs. And I don't know where they're coming from because that I think may have come out of my GAC 800. Um, but I don't know where they really come from, um, because I'm straining my flow trawl, you know, uh, I don't know if, if y'all, uh, I've mentioned it several times because I think it's an awesome trick. I got it off Gina DeLuca's channel, but if you put a piece of hosiery, you know, or some kind of lace or something over the spout, you know, the opening to your flow trawl, it will filter as it comes out. And then you don't have to worry about blobs and globs. It'll catch them before, you know, they cause any problems. And uh, I really think that is a good idea. It's very smart. And I um, have, you know, I used to not strain mine at all. And then I heard people talking about how you needed to. And then uh, I heard that trick that Gina had. and. I've been doing that for a long time, but here recently I lost my straining, you know, my uh, hose piece. And so I had a period of time where I didn't have anything to strain with and boy, it caused problems. I had lots of problems because of it. So I definitely think it's a good idea um, to strain your flow trawl. I think the colors in this are pretty, I like it. Um, I'm just stretching it out a little more. I wanted to cover that corner a little bit. I don't like it being that bare. Okay. This bottle one doesn't bother me because those are cells. Um, it is sort of white, but, um, but those are cells down there. So I think that's pretty. Okay. 
I don't like that little, that's a cell that's opened up there and it, it's exposing the white and I don't like it. I want it covered up. I'm going away. I actually really like that bottom corner. It's pretty cool. Okay. Um, there's another one of those little um, I don't like these little cells that open up to the white. I feel like I need to I don't like them. That's really hard to do. And I don't really like the way that one looks. Push that off. The other one looks okay, but I mean, you're gonna get those. They're just cells, and they, you know, they're gonna open up to that white um, base coat you got, you know. But um, I don't like them, so uh, you know, I don't like seeing that white all over the place. So I'll try to cover it up. All right, you guys, that's about that. Let me let y'all see. I'm not sure I like doing these on the MDF board. I, I'm not sure I like them. Um, I don't think I don't think it works as well. Um, I mean that's pretty. That's beautiful. Um, I don't know, y'all. Tell me. I don't know. Colors are just beautiful. Uh, those pigments. Um, and I have also, you know, I don't know if. Um, I mean, I've mentioned them, but the, I didn't use any in this one, but those black diamond pigments are just gorgeous in resin. Uh, I haven't tried them in the Shelly Art Medium. They do not work very well just in Floetrol and stuff. In a regular pour, they don't work. They, they dim. Look at that. That's gorgeous. Anyway, they don't work for that. So, um, But I do recommend them highly for resin work. They're beautiful. Thank y'all for joining me. I appreciate you being here. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Tune in next time. And if any of y'all are interested in stained glass, I'm fixing to do another stained glass series from start to finish uh, for my friend that uh, asked me to. Um, and I'm going to film one of those here in just a minute. So um, y'all tune in. All right. Thanks for being here. Have a great day.